scrotum a little bit longer than that. Boy, Gustine is right there. And Majeski went out with a bad start as well. Dean to the inside, though. Cars side by side. Creed looking to the high side. Is there going to be room for Creed up there? I don't think so. Down the back stretch for the final time. Majeski now in command. Can he hold off Sheldon Creed, last year's champion? Off turn four into the trioval, and for the seventh time, Charlotte has produced a first time ARCA winner. And that is the man, the legend, that got him into victory lane, Paul Andrew. That's one happy Chad Bryant crew down there. Of course, I met Paul Andrews, Ty Majeski. What a courageous race. When it's all said and done, Michael Self comes home fifth. He dominated the first 90 laps. Tanner Grant officially with a sixth place finish. Creed, after serving a penalty, races his way back to finish second. Whew, now you can exhale. <laughs> said that Chad Bryant, Chad Bryant is a car owner of both the 22 and the 77, but he crew chiefs Joe Graff Jr. That's Paul Andrews, a good buddy of ours, crew chief in time of Jeske trying to go back to back here. Sorry about that, Paul. I didn't mean to give credit to Chad as a crew chief. Took tie to the winner's circle on the 1.5 mile Charlotte racetrack here just eight days ago. And now working lap 79. Less than five miles to go, a lead that's grown to 2.2 seconds. What's going on inside the helmet of the monster driver, Riley Herbst? And how comfortable is Ty Majeski at this point? I'd say very. I'd say he's very comfortable, and I think Riley Herbst is probably realizing his fate here, that he's going to probably get another runner-up finish. Talked about these young kids, that 32 driver, making a great super speedway debut, Cole Glasson. Man, the shares his same birthday, Rafael Lassard continues to ride fourth in his Chevrolet. The white flag is out. Final lap. Lap cars, no issue. Majeski on his way. Well, there was some pretty heavy traffic, but Ty really did a nice job of negotiating. And that was our fifth place running. Brett Holmes was one of the cars that he got by. Cole Glasson running ninth as well. Car he shares with teammate Corey Heim, who plans on making his super speedway debut at this race when we come back on July 26th. But today, Ty Majeski is certainly showing the way. Fresh liner boats came on board. The 11th hour for Charlotte. It looks like they may go back to back to victory lane. And what may have taken him 11 races to find victory lane. How about this young hot shoe? The 24 year old goes back to back. Taking the Arkham and Arts series win today at Pocono. For the second time in eight days, Paul Andrews has made sure there is going to be a big time hat in Seymour, Wisconsin tonight. Majeski's hometown. I love that smile on Paul's face. He is just a nice man but lethal when it comes to setting these machines up. He is. Been around a long time. I think Jamie's caught up. The see if Riley can fight back on the outside. Looks like his car has gone away just a little bit. Holmes has him cleared. Two laps to go. The lead, 8.3 seconds. Then a stack of cars separated by just a second for the runner-up spot. See if Riley can fight back and try to get back underneath the 23 of Brett Holmes. So Brett Holmes getting a little bit loose over there in one and two. And as they make their way down the back stretch, off of turn number four, Ty Majeski is heading toward the start finish line. The white flag is out. 1.5 miles to go. What a drive by this young man. The quest for three in a row at Michigan. Fuel mileage cost him coming off of turn four. But at this point, nothing can stop the 22. And just that easy, Ty Majeski joins Michael Self as a three-time winner on the Arkham Menard Series in 2019. Meanwhile, the battle for second rages on. Look at Michael Self with a late race charge. Where will that ultimately put him? 
That'll get him fourth as Burton comes home second, Brett Holmes third, and how about the man, Paul Andrews, on the box, Colin. The race for Mr. Majeski. He told Tom Majeski, don't worry about having older tires than those guys. We know what we're doing here. 